English Intensive Program 011 Reading Fatigue Our nerves are made up of cells, as is the rest of the body. And like all cells, nerve cells must be nourished by the blood and will lose energy by activity. A period of rest usually restores nerve cells to normal. In the relaxed person, this can occur. In the person who is constantly under a degree of nervous tension, who has poor general health or is undergoing emotional disturbance, the cells are unable to regain their normal healthy condition. They live instead in a state of almost complete depletion or fatigue. One result of this fatigue is a slowing down of impulses at the brain, a quicker loss of interest in what one is doing, the inability to stay at the task till it is done. It may become complete lack of interest in anything. Not only mental, but physical work tires the nerves as well. Work you're obliged to do but you don't like does this more quickly than work you enjoy. Such physical strains as tired eyes, a nagging headache, help tire the nervous system even if the part affected is not involved in the work one does. A change of work often gives a sense of rest because it brings different muscles into play. English Intensive Program 011 Reading Organ of Vision The human eye is nature's most intricate and delicate organ and upon its development probably rests the high degree of development of man's society. When nature developed this intricate and adaptable organism, human eyes were used primarily for outdoor work and living. With the stress of indoor life and artificial lighting, abnormal strain is placed on eyes today. Sometimes more than nature's assistance is needed to keep eyes in shape for the many uses they serve in modern life. It is also true that we have extended man's normal lifespan to almost twice what it is in a primitive society. Visual deficiencies also increase with age and eyes usually need some corrective care as one grows older. Undetected, uncorrected eye trouble can affect the entire personality structure and can make the difference between success and failure in one's working life or personal relations. Theodore Roosevelt, for instance, was slow and backward till it was discovered that his vision was bad. After his defective sight was corrected, he became one of the leaders of his time.